The coin visually vanishes. The coin disappears and then reappears moments later. I'm also going to reveal my favorite close-up coin trick ever. The magician places the coin on some rubber and then pushes the coin right into the glass. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Oscar Owen and I'm really, really excited for this video because people ask me all the time, like, Oscar, what are just some coin tricks that I can do right now? Not stuff that takes weeks and weeks of practice, but what are some coin tricks that are just easy to do, are really impressive, and I can just learn them in a couple of minutes. So that's what this video is all about. I'm teaching three insanely good coin tricks that are perfect for just casual situations at the bar, at a party, when you're hanging out with your mates, and the best part is they don't take very long to learn. In fact, the last trick I'm gonna be teaching you is actually my favorite close-up coin trick ever. It's just so, so good. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video for that. Anyway, if you're new here, my name's Oscar Rowan and this channel is dedicated to teaching you amazing skills and magic tricks to make you the most interesting person in the room. So if that's something like the sound of, then make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another video. Anyway, let's go to trick number one, which is a really fun bar bet with a coin. So this first trick is called coin through hand and it's a really fun bar bet that I do all the time. It takes a couple of minutes to learn. So let's watch a performance of it and then I'll teach you how to do it. The magician has a coin, puts it into his right hand and rubs his fist and the coin jumps onto the back of his hand. Let me show you that again. He puts the coin in his right hand, rubs it and the coin impossibly jumps. Coin jump is a fun move that I like just doing, you know, casually if you're at a bar or that sort of social environment. And it's just a fun bar bet you can basically do wherever you are. You basically just tell the spectator to watch the coin, you flick it on top of your hand, and then your hand's here, and then you basically see the coin's jumped up here. So how does this actually work? Well, it's really simple. You place the coin on the, on the edges of your middle finger and first finger, just like this. So it's in this section of your hand. Your hand then comes round into a fist, but very importantly, you're not actually closing the coin and clenching your fist. Rather, you're leaving a big gap here. And all that's happening is you're gonna flick your hand and the coin is gonna go out of this, this here and it's gonna land on the back of your hand. So it's very hard to demonstrate this because it's so well covered. Um, but essentially what you need to do is just practice holding the coin in this position. Your other hand goes on top and you can see that the coin is basically ready to, to, to jump if I flick it up that way. From the front, however, your fingers are closed on this side. It's just this side, they need to be open to allow the coin to leave. So you show the coin to the spectator, you do this. So they can't see that there's a massive gap here. Your other hand comes over. It's not pressing down really hard. It's just loosely there. And, the, and you're gonna basically flick your wrist. So if I did it without cover, it would sort of look like that. And what the coin's gonna do is it's gonna bounce off this hand and onto the top of your hand. So this hand comes over, you flick, and it's jumped on top. This is actually really easy to do. It's the sort of little trick that I teach people to do, and they can normally learn it in about a minute or so. So really just give this a go. It's one of those effects where you've just gotta try it, and you know you can just keep doing it over and over again, and it's really satisfying and fun to do. Very quickly, before I teach you how to do the next trick, which is an amazing coin vanish, I just want to quickly mention that you can sign up to my free Magic Masterclass by clicking the first link in the description. Inside the course, I'm teaching you how to put a thought inside your spectator's head. I'm teaching the same effects that Dynamo does on national television to amaze crowds of people. And I'm even going to teach you how to read someone's mind to get reactions like this. What the <laughs> So the whole thing is 100% free. I really mean it, there's no strings attached. So just click the first link in the description to sign up for the free Magic Masterclass. So trick number two is called the Strike Vanish. And this is just a really cool way to take any small object and just vanish it right in front of your spectator's eyes. So let's learn how to do it. The magician taps the coin with the pen and the coin vanishes. How is this possible? So the Strike Vanish is a classic in card magic and I love it because it's so visual and it's so direct. But the way in which it works is also really simple. So you need a pen and you need a coin obviously for this. And what you need to do to begin with is remove the pen and all this, well, I'll show you how this works in slow motion firstly. So you're just gonna be tapping the coin, you go one, two, and on the third tap, you're just tossing the coin into these fingers here and then doing that. And it looks as if the coin is gone when in reality, it's just in your hand here. 
at full speed, it looks like this. And you see the coin is now in here. So let's break that down. What you want to do to begin is place the coin just at the bottom of your middle and ring finger. That for me is a good position. And then your hand holds the pen. You're not squeezing onto the pen like this. Rather, these fingers are quite loose because that's what's going to be catching the coin. Now, this is something that you can't do slowly because it is a very quick flick. But what I'll do is I'll demonstrate it, try and demonstrate it slowly. And then you're just going to, have to play around with this move to really learn it yourself. So you hold the coin, the hold the pen like this. Your first finger and, and thumb are really the only ones that are contacting the pen. And I like to hold the rest of my fingers loose in a big sort of cradling position. You then tap the coin three times. You go one, two, and the third tap, you're just tossing the coin in this hand. So you're, I won't be able to catch it because it'll be too slow, but you're just tossing the coin and your hand's also coming down and then you're just grabbing it with these fingers. So it's one, two, three. Okay, and I've grabbed the coin like that. So what I want you to do is just practice holding a coin like this, holding a pen, and doing this over the table many times because yes, you will drop the coin and just do it over and over again. And you'll be able to get this within about three or four minutes. It shouldn't be too hard. So trick number three is coin through rubber. And you're in for a real treat here because as I've mentioned many times in this video already, this is my favorite close up coin trick ever. So before I teach you how it's done, I just want to show you what it looks like. And then I'll explain why this effect is so good and then how to do it. So this is what the effect looks like. You've got a glass, a bit of rubber and a coin on top of the rubber. Everything can be shown around completely fair. And then you get the spectator to take their finger and press down on the coin and it penetrates straight through the rubber. The awesome thing is everything can then be handed out straight away for inspection. And there's just no cleaner or more visual trick than this. And the spectator also does the magic themselves. So you've got to learn this amazing coin trick. Okay, so this is just one of the best coin tricks ever created. And if you're a beginner looking to learn a really easy, amazing coin trick that you can use to impress anyone you like, this is the coin trick you should learn. It's super simple. It requires no sleight of hand. Everything can be inspected. And the best part is the spectator themselves does the magic. So as you've already seen, the you've got the glass and you've got the rubber and you've got the rubber band and you've got the coin and the spectator uses their finger, presses down on the coin and it goes straight through. Now, naturally, you're probably thinking, well, there's a hole in the rubber or something like that. There's absolutely no hole. Everything can be inspected. You can hand this out straight away and there's literally nothing to hide. That's why this is such a good trick. So the spectator would literally have to take this off. They can inspect the rubber all they want. They're not going to find anything. Inspect the coin, inspect the glass, inspect everything. There's, there's nothing to hide. So let me explain how this works. Well, it's really simple. The only thing you've got to do is go out and buy this rubber. It's literally costs a couple of quid, so it's so worth it because you can do this amazing magic trick. And essentially, all that happens is when you stretch this rubber, it goes from being green to see-through. So basically, the way in which the trick works is you place the coin below the rubber like this, you then stretch the rubber, you press the coin up inside it, and now it looks as if the coin's on top of the rubber, when in reality, it's just under it. You then place this on the glass, and from here, you just wrap the rubber band around and everything looks normal. So I'll quickly do that now. Cool, and then from this point, you've got a couple of options. All that needs to happen is someone needs to press down on the rubber, press on the coin saw, and it's gonna go through the rubber into the glass. Um, you can let the spectator do this himself. That's what I normally do because everything looks so fair, they're not going to try and pick up the coin and inspect it. You just say, take your finger and press down on the rubber and they'll do that. And then afterwards they can inspect everything. But if you're slightly iffy that they might try and pick up the coin, literally just say, look, I've got a coin here. And then you take your finger, press down on the coin. It goes straight through and you let, let them now inspect everything. This is just the ultimate coin trick for beginners or someone who just wants to learn a really amazing trick that requires no skill. So I've left a link down in the description to where you can buy this rubber. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this trick. The magician takes a coin, vanishes it, and then makes it reappear. To learn this trick, you need to break it down into three parts. Practice each part individually, then put them all together at the end. To be
begin, take any coin and place it between your thumb and first finger like this. What you need to practice doing is pressing down with your first finger so that the coin snaps backwards behind these two fingers. So just keep practicing that over and over again until it's natural and you want it so from the front point of view you can't see the coin. The smaller the coin, the easier this is. And also when you do this, you want to have these fingers pulled back so the spectator has a very clear view of what the coin is like before and what the coin is like after. For the next part, you're going to take the coin and use your thumb to push it over your first finger so it rests on your first finger like this. So have the coin here, and move it onto your first finger like that. Just isolate this move and once you can do it, then practice bringing your middle finger up and clipping the coin in this position. When you turn your hand up, it looks as if there's nothing in your hand. So all put together, you vanish the coin, you then slide it onto your first finger, clip it, and then open up your hand like this. It now looks as if there is nothing in your hand. For the final part of this trick, you just need to toss your hand upwards and let go of the coin slightly, and it means you'll be able to catch it just like that. So thanks so much for watching the video, guys. If you've got any questions, just shoot me a DM on Instagram and I'll try and get back to you. And also make sure you click the first link in the description to sign up to my free Magic Masterclass if you want to learn tricks that are just too good to reveal on YouTube. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.